Hey there, Thrivers. Rosanna Novice with MindShift Thrive Global Ministries. Again, on an incredible episode, we have part two of Ashley Carlisle from Texas here today with us. She is a survivor turned thriver. She is working on a book. She has had an incredible divine encounter with Jesus 10 years ago. And we want you to go back a couple episodes so you can watch that because we are on part two of what she's doing today and the struggles that she faced before she came to know the Lord and finding her inner voice. We want to talk about that and her upcoming projects in her newfound ministry with Jesus. So Ashley, thank you again for being on our podcast. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You look beautiful as usual. Oh, so do you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. So I want you to tell the survivors out there, because we were talking before the episode <clears throat> about this whole thing that when you were a child, you had this bold voice, but then over time things started mm -hmm. changing. Mm -hmm. Can you go into that? Yeah, so as a child, I was very opinionative, you know, I would voice my opinions and I was outspoken, but I just remember um, it bothering some, some people in my life mm. and they would, they didn't like it mm. and they would tell me to be quiet or you can't say that or, you know, and so over time I just lost confidence and I didn't feel comfortable mm. speaking mm. and saying my opinion. And mm. I, you know, I feel that if God wants you, if he's calling you to speak, I feel like the enemy will attack that mm. and try to prevent it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then just over time, toxic relationships, just constantly beating me down of my value and, you know, I, I wasn't who God created me to be. Right, right. It's kind of like reinforcing yes. all that negative talk. Yes. And yeah. then kind of like influencing how you started to see yourself. Yes. In a, in a dark, in a dark place mm -hmm. instead of in the light, the way God initially, like when he was blossoming that personality yes. in you. And all of a sudden people were just like robbing you of that. They're like, you can't. You can't say that. You can't do that. You wouldn't be good at that. You know, these negative self-talk to make me question myself. Okay, so you were questioning yourself, which would cause you to, like, at that point, let me not just not say anything at all. Yes. I don't want to receive any more negative feedback. Yes. 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 I get that. Well, I have a question for you because you're a leader in the technology industry. Mm -hmm. So within a leadership role... How does that work now with you walking with Jesus? Well, now, I mean, I still find myself being more introverted where I don't like speaking. But, um, you know, now I, I, I'm a little more comfortable doing it. Um, I, of course, I pray before any time I have to speak. But <laughs> Which, by the way, I just want to let you know, this is a fact. We typically pray before our episodes. And for some reason, we weren't going to pray. And Ashley over here, the spirit was nudging her. She's like, aren't we going to pray? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, of course. And she led in prayer. This is her second time here. And it's a really big deal for her. Yes. Right? And All I mean, this. anytime I, I speak at a meeting or I, I pray before so that I can. And it helps you. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're regaining that confidence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me ask you, it has taken you some time. Right. This is a journey. Yes. Even finding your voice is a journey mm -hmm. within this healing. Yes. Right. OK. That's that's one of the things that I kind of caught, because some people feel like what you mentioned in the first episode. I was brand new. I was transformed. But God is still showing us that he still wants to like work with us. Yeah, right. He wants us to be out of our comfort zone. Uh huh. And that's where you really start to grow. Yes. Yeah. Once you start doing things you're not comfortable doing. And speaking is one of those for me. It's one of those things. But you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it. This is, this is huge. I'm telling you, girl. High five. <laughs> Two high fives. <laughs> you know I had to add that high fives in there, right, Jay? All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Never fails. That brings me mm -hmm. to Bibles and Blankets. Yes. I took a trip with my son to New York City. And I had brought Bibles to give out to the homeless, and 
there was a lady there uh, sitting outside with a sign that said, I, I still need a blanket. And then mm. I saw it and I immediately uh, went into one of the stores, bought her a blanket. And then it just kind of, this idea came in my head that it's a tradition we're going to do now to give Bibles and blankets to the homeless. Oh, praise God. So That is so cool. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> And you went with your son. Yes. So he was a part of this. My son and his girlfriend. And yes, his yeah. girlfriend. So it was like the they three of you. They saw, it was a trio. yeah, yeah. They, they saw what, what I was, I was like, oh, let's go get her blanket. So then we did that. And I think that's so important to show your kids, you know, help serving and helping others because uh, that's something my mom did as a child. And mm. she... Yeah, I was a small child okay. in the back seat, and she pulled up to this man walking on the side of the road. He was looking for food, and she brought him a whole trunk of groceries. Aww. And it made such a big impact in my life. So I think it's important for your kids to see you give and mm. serve. So that's really... That reminds me of something that I did for someone, but my kids weren't around. They stayed at the hotel. We were in Orlando. And I was like, oh, shoot, that could have been an incredible opportunity. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't think about it. Yeah. But, yeah, for the survivors out there, that's huge. Mm -hmm. And thank you for sharing that, yeah. like bringing your kids into your ministry work. Yes. Of course, safety is a priority. Oh, yeah. Whenever yes. you feel like, okay, this could be a compromising situation. Let me go by myself. You all stay right here, but we got to take care of well, this real quick. Well, and, and that's what they, um, someone had kind of got upset with my mom for doing that because oh. I, it could have gone a different way, but it was very impactful for yes, me. Yes, yes. God knows what he does. Yes. And he protects us. Yes. So praise God for that. Yes. And I heard about a trip to Nepal. Yes, I am taking a trip to Nepal in December, and Nepal is very, uh, they have one of the worst human trafficking um, issues there, and uh, we're going to educate and try to prevent. Mm. Okay, all right, so, and this a week-long journey? Uh, it's 10 Mission days. Trip? Yeah. Ten, 10 days is a lot. 10 days. Okay, are you going with the kids? No, I... They're going to set this one out. Okay. I mean, they have asked about doing some oh, so they wanted, mission trips. They were interested. Yes. Good. Uh, good. This one um, I'm going to do um, with a group of go. women. So. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So that's going to be great. Yeah. And as far as the book is concerned, is that going to be coming out in 2025? I kind of want to tell the survivors where you're at that to will, stay on the lookout. Yes. That will at least be a year. So uh, this time... 2025. Okay. 2025. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And how can the survivors follow you? Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Ashley Psalms 91. That's beautiful. So why Psalms 91? Uh, it's it's a big thing for me. Like, <laughs> do you want to share a little bit of uh, Psalms 91? Yes. It. I love all of Psalms, and Psalms has got me through some really tough times. Mm. And that particular scripture I would read a lot for comfort mm -hmm. and I actually that's my doormat on my front door is, is it covered by uh, covered and then it says Psalm 91 yeah um which part resonates with you from that, that he will cover you and he will protect you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he has so yeah. yeah praise God that's one of my favorites too yeah <laughs> I think a lot of us survivors can resonate with that. Yes, it's yeah. a powerful. It is. And comforting. Yes. Um. <laughs> Ashley, you've got a lot going on. There's a lot happening. And as far as in the tech world, in the workplace, mm -hmm. has God revealed to you if he wants you to work with certain people within the workplace or you want to keep it separate? What is God telling you? in that sense, because I know you're working in the world, you're not working like in a Christian organization. It is faith-based. Okay. Um, and you know, when I, I, I will share whatever God wants me to share at the right moment Perfect. with the right people. Perfect, perfect. And I think that's really important for our viewers to understand 
that it's a discernment thing and it's a mm -hmm. waiting on the Lord situation. Yes. Because sometimes we want to kind of get ahead. Yeah, it's the right time and yeah, you just know, okay, I need to say something. Yeah. But recently it's been very odd. So many people have brought up God to me. Mm. They brought it up. Mm. And then it's like, here you go. So I, so I know he wants me to share. There are some survivors out there that will be brave enough and bold enough after listening to this episode and resonate with you. What piece of advice could you give them as far as like opening up to other people? Well, I, I would say first you need to hear what God wants you what he's calling you to do and what he's calling you to say. Okay. Um, I was always careful about what I shared um, because it's not for everyone to hear. And I always wanted to protect my kids too. Mm -hmm. So I was careful about what I shared mm. about. Especially the situation. Yes. And, and yeah. I know. So I was protecting them. Got and it. Which makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So the advice would be, make sure you know what God is calling you to do. Like, mm -hmm. and then from, from that point on in that security, he'll give you. He'll, and then you'll have the confidence, the boldness and nothing will stop you or stand in your way. It's cause it's God's leading it. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and I think that's, that's a relief, uh -huh. right? Because it's like, uh, am I getting it right? What am I doing? But when it's him, it, he does, he already gives you the tools mm -hmm. within. And yeah, that's it, the one thing that you were, we were talking about. Yes. And before. that's what happened um, at my grandma's funeral recently. So I had a speech typed up about my grandma, but then God said, I want you to say this instead. And it was something my grandma really was concerned with was she wanted all her family members to be saved and know Jesus. So I, I just, you know, shared and I said, if anybody would like to have a relationship with Jesus, say this prayer with me. And I did that at her funeral and it was, but that was all God. He wanted me to do that. So, Whoa. and I was bold to do that. Oh so. my gosh. Yeah. And what happened afterwards? Uh, I mean, the, the pastor there was, he said, your grandmother, your grandmother would have been very proud and, Aww. and everybody was just, I think they were shocked a little, but they, they were, they were like, wow. But I don't know if anybody came to faith. I, right. I, you just, I just did what, yeah, yeah, yeah. You provided that yes. opportunity for them to come to the Lord because God knows their heart. Yeah. He does the rest. Yeah. And that could have been an open door for them to go to a church or to a pastor or to a friend of mm -hmm, faith mm -hmm. and get curious about the Lord and start a relationship. Yes. We don't know what he's going to do with it. We, we just, we just do what he asks. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Any other projects that God is calling you to do that you want to share with the survivors on this part two episode? Um, so, um, as far as the Bibles and blankets, yes. um, it's a part of this new project I'm doing, which is traveling with purpose. So I love to go places and, mm -hmm. uh, I thought that every place I go to, I could do something impactful there and it's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> no, that's actually really trying. cool because, Jay, this this has to do with you. Yeah, I'm literally, that's literally, like, how I am. Like, anytime I'm going somewhere, it's like, I have to do something. Like, yeah. Like, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> God, God is putting, like, literally, the three of us are yeah. in the same, God has us in the same space. Yeah. What do we talk about? You got to keep this one in the episode. What do we talk about at Olive Garden yesterday? Oh, yeah. We were literally talking about um, doing mission trips to uh, Central and South America. Yeah. That's so crazy. Wow. Perfect. That's yeah. God's perfect yes. timing. Yeah. Wow. God's perfect timing. It's yeah. just that's what he does. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So guess what time it is? Game time. <laughs> so I want you to go like this. Game, Game time. time. <laughs> 
Mindshift Thrivers, we are ready to play a prize wheel game. We've got Ashley Carlisle from Texas over here. As you already know, we're ready to win some prizes, girl. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right, spin that wheel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. A free spin. <laughs> Go for it. All right. <laughs> I've got two prizes to give to you, <laughs> whether this prize wheel likes it or not. Study, study. Bible, yes. Here you go, a life Thank application you. NIV study Bible for you. Thank or you. Or anyone else, any survivor out there Thank that you. I'm sure you're going to encounter. Life application, personal size from NIV. <laughs> Care of Mind Shift Thrive Global Ministries. <laughs> All right, you're going to spin you. the wheel again. You're okay. welcome, hon. No problem. Let's see if we can get you that journal. Thank you, Nadia, for the journals. Uh-oh. Another study. Well, <laughs> okay, that's the study Bible. All right, let's, let's see if we can get you that journal. Come on, journal. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Praise the Lord. You got it. Thank you. A devotional study. A personal what? journal. It says, for the woman of God, glow up. Now, if you've watched our episodes, you saw Nadia Rojas. She is a survivor turned thriver, and she created this devotional for all those women out there that need a deeper relationship with the Lord. Thank you. And we That's were able to nice. support her ministry, and now it's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Did you like our prize wheel game? Oh, yeah. It's you fun. liked it? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I want to spin again. You want to spin again? Oh, yeah. Spin one more time. I'm not going to give you anything, but if you want to just do it for giggles, go for it. See, it's fun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Journal. And you already got it. Yep. <laughs> Solid. Thanks. Thank you so much again for joining Thanks us, girl. Thanks for having me. What an honor. It's been a privilege. I am so glad that God chose you. Thank you. To for... work. Oh. <laughs> work on the battlefield. Yes. Right? <laughs> And it's, you're traveling with a purpose, mm -hmm. Bibles and blankets. Yes. We're going to Nepal. We're writing a book. you got a lot going on. <laughs> yes. But with God, everything is possible. Yes, it yes. is. I appreciate you. Thank you. You are a survivor turned thriver. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Roseanne on Vice from Mind Shift Thrive Global Ministries with another amazing, inspirational episode. Listen, it's not too late. There is hope in the Lord. There is hope in Christ. You are out of that toxic relationship. There is healing, transformation, and most of all, God loves you more than you could ever imagine. Believe that, know that to be true, and that's a promise that he's given to you as a gift, ladies. It's a blessing. So walk in your purpose. We love you, and until next time, God bless you. Take care. Mwah.